Wow, Rachel Ray and Jen mm -hmm. Charles. <laughs> All same, same segment. Show. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. I did that on purpose. Oh, I called her yes. and, and <laughs> told her about what was going on. Your friend Rachel, yeah. would you do this for your friends Whitney? Yeah, my, my thank B you. BFF. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, earlier in the show we put, uh, we put pork a roast. We put a pork, pork loin in the oven mm -hmm. and we did some uh, uh, butternut squash with apples and red onions and that's all roasting in the oven. And the fun thing about that is it all goes together in about two seconds and it all cooks at the same time. Well, that's very quick. Same mm -hmm. time. It is. It's super quick. Well, you know, all right, kids are back in school. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> but it does mean that afternoons, it's insane. You mm -hmm. know, and so if you're doing that whole what's for dinner thing, I'm not going to fiddle with a whole lot. I'm just not. And I got big boys in college that want the leftovers the next mm -hmm. day. So mm -hmm. this is kind of win win, right? True. But we want to get something green in them as Yay. well. Okay. So we're looking at what's in season, right? And so we've mm -hmm. got kale and we've got Brussels sprouts. And I love to saute kale. We put kale in smoothies. My daughter will eat kale by the bushel. I mean, she mm. loves it. And then Brussels sprouts, uh, most of the time I will roast them. But sometimes I want to do something a little greener, a little fresher. And they'll eat them? <coughs> they will eat them. <laughs> they will eat them. Okay. Here's the funny thing about kids. If it's all they got, they'll end up eating <laughs> it. <laughs> it's, it's true. You know, um, we, we, I'm not one of those that says, oh, honey, I'll fix you something else. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll take you. This is what you get. I'll take this your plate. This is it. That's right. All right, so we want to dress it up a little bit. And I love to make homemade vinaigrettes. Okay. You're not going to have all the sugar that you find with bottled dressings, huh? right? So super easy, same formula. You use a little bit of mustard. That's about a teaspoon. Get these little dollar bottles at the, at okay. the, at the big box store. Yeah. All right. Mm, much Liquid do pledge. Liquid pledge. <laughs> It's walnut oil. It's walnut oil. You can buy these. <laughs> at, Never uh, used it. You can buy walnut <laughs> oil um, at you know, most of the good grocery stores. And you're going to use about a quarter of a cup. That's it. Okay. Now, I've got to get some of that because I love walnuts. So. Well, and smell that. That's the most incredible stuff. I mean, it smells so good. It smells mm. like just pure walnut walnuts. heaven. <laughs> yeah, it it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and we have the juice of one lemon, and we're going to toss that in there. Fresh, I Fresh, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, better that way. And I'm going to show you something fun in just a second. You see how, they, how everybody separates right here? Yeah. I like a little more zing, a little more acid, so you could use a vinegar if you wanted to. Um, I like any kind of vinegar. I like more acid than I do oil. But okay. traditionally, you could do three quarters to one quarter. Three quarters oil, one quarter of the um, acid. Okay. okay. All right, the zest from our lemon, okay, oh. right in there. We're going to do salt, pepper on the top of our salad. Morgan, you want to do that? Sure. Okay. Kosher salt. Kosher salt, best stuff ever. And that's it. Boom, homemade dressing. That's all you do. Isn't that fun? Don't you want to just like pull? Oh, I, I made, can do I it. I made you some vinaigrette, darling. <laughs> and if you want. If you want, you can toss on a shallot, which is milder than onion. Okay. Really? Okay. Yes. See, I always thought it was. It is an allium. It's in the same family, the same general range a of shallot? flavors. But it is a shallot. But if, if you, it's your first date, leave the shallots out. Leave the shallots <laughs> out. If you don't have a shallot, you can use a little red onion. You can use uh, a little green onion with the tops. Or some apples. Or some apples. You know what is? Oh, you know what's so good? Pears. Do pears oh, yeah. on the salad. This, this is goat cheese. You'll find oh. it. You'll find it labeled as chevre. C H E V R E. Or okay goat cheese depending on where you're shopping Shove. it is so good and it goes right over the top mm. and especially if you are doing apples mm. or pears or anything like that perfect all right all right when we come back we're gonna make it the meal put it all together right we can put everything together all righty come back you toss this you can toss it nice or not uh, one thing that we were talking about dress this salad about 15 20 minutes ahead because it likes to sit uh, the acid will break it down just a little bit, mm -hmm. and the flavors come together. So I dress that, you know, throw that in the oven, dress a salad, go hang out on Facebook or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be washing have, the dishes, I'll tell you that. <laughs>